welcome back to the Brand Bar Happy Hour Chat. I'm Angela St. Julian, and I'm on this afternoon with Richard Lau. Uh, you guys know him, I'm sure. Richard is the co-founder of uh, NamesCon, and also you're looking at the first ever Domainer of the Year award recipient, right, Richard? <laughs> That's correct. And, um, that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, but still, you know, that's that's quite the title to hold. Um, and then he's also the former operator and founder of one of the first 30 registrars in the in the world. So he's got quite a bit of experience uh, in our industry, and that's why he, in my, in my opinion, is the best suited for running one of the best conferences our industry has. So, uh, John, I mean, excuse me, Richard, thank you so much for coming on. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for having me. And if Jonathan decides to jump in later, I'll, uh, I'll stop us to do a little intro for him as well. Sounds great. So, uh, I guess I want to just get started with what's new. <laughs> we know that uh, NamesCon <laughs> is going to be next month. But you've got a lot of new uh, items on the agenda and different ways that we can all, I guess, get together this year. You want to tell us some about that? Certainly. Um, you know, I mean, we, we keep a format of starting on Sunday and ending on Wednesday. And, you know, we, we really fill out the whole um, the whole mark. Uh, and, you know, I know that last year a lot of people arrived Sunday evening and just went to the opening cocktail party. And they miss a lot of the uh, the sessions in the in the day. And again, you know, Sunday there was an article, um, I, I, uh, a blog post this morning um, that said, you know, Sunday might be the best day of NamesCon. Yeah. So you know, it's uh, we are testing um, things on on Sunday, and um, it, they're really shaping up, um, you know, to be an incredible time. We've got three or four, I guess the. New things that um, people will want to go to on uh, on Sunday, and you know we've got sessions. Um, so we've got the uh, the newcomer orientation, but we have also got a um, what we call a master class room um, that is run by Uniregistry, and that will be Sunday through Wednesday, and um, it's a classroom style uh, workshop, and they hold their own sessions and they're running those sessions and uh, you know they're they really uh, they're really um, uh, putting their heart and soul in, into those sessions are those sessions um, uh, unit registry related like using their platform or domain industry wide like in, uh, information or knowledge you know i think it's it's things that they're experts in so it's um, you know, you, you can go and learn about um, selling on their platform. Mm -hmm. um, you can learn and, you know, um, hear what it's like to deal with a broker or not deal with a broker. But it's information that you can take and either use with their platform or use with any of the other dozen um, platforms or brokers. So, you know, and they're not, um, it's not RSVP. It's just, you know, everyone's yeah. welcome. You don't have to be a pre-existing customer. Um, you know, and they've got uh, some very interesting sessions um, starting right from the get-go. Oh, that's great. Um, you know, and so, um, so we've got we've got, um, that are set up. One is run by Uniregistry, and the other is has a revolving door. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got something very new called topic tables, and those are roundtable discussion groups. And so, rather than having a panel where the panel speaks and then it's open to questions and answers, it's really a conversation. And so we have um, a, a different conversation every hour on the hour at four different tables. Wow. So there's lots going on. You're going to be uh, wanting to clone yourself, um, but you know, to be able to just pull up a chair and be invited to speak with someone like Braden Pollock, you know, or Karen Bernstein, you know, here's a lawyer. Exactly, you know, right there. To ask some, some advice. And it's not like you're intruding on their lunch meeting yeah. or, um, you know, trying to stop them in the hallway. They are showing up at the topic table mm -hmm. saying, hey, I'm here. I'm an expert. Talk to me. Yes. Bring me questions. Let's chat. 
And so um, we've got some some amazing experts um, that have have volunteered to um, to to sit at the tables uh, and just be open to conversation. So to me, that's you know a lot of people go to sessions because they know a speaker is going to be there. And then at the end of the the session, they rush the stage. Right. And <laughs> and so when you're rushing the stage, you're you're wanting to ask a question. You're trying to get thirty seconds to five minutes of of a speaker's time. Well, here, they're saying you got an hour. It's not one on one. You know, you're going to join a conversation. Maybe you ask your question. You listen to other people asking theirs. Right. Um, and really, um, we're really, really excited about the the topic tables. That's a good idea. Um, and and in that same room, so that's that's noon until six on Sunday only. Noon until six. So if you come on Monday and say, "Where are the topic tables?" Those are yesterday. So <laughs> fly in on Sunday morning or fly in on Saturday. Um, you don't want to miss Sunday. Uh, the other thing that we have going on in the same room as the topping tables is a wine bar uh, by Dot Wine. So Donuts is uh, is anteing up, and they it's going to be a classy. Um, bring they're bringing in a, a wine sommelier. Yeah. Um, so talk through different wines with people, and it'll be a fun educational, um, ex you know, experience. It's not all about domains, but it's domain related, yes, right? Yes, and it's it's and, like you said, fun. You know. This industry is is really exciting and fun. So why not have some something there that we can all enjoy other than just work? Exactly. Um, and then what we also have, which is actually the main theme in the in that entire room, is network uh, network lane tables. So if you've ever been to an affiliate summit meet market, or you've been to Tech Crunch Disrupt Startup Alley. Um, you'll you'll know what we're we're envisioning, and it's really a one day only pop up exhibit um, where you know it's not elaborate booths because it's just about meeting people and setting up meetings, exchanging business cards, and going to the next table. So it's not quite speed dating or speed networking, but you know there, there's something there. And so we um, we want to be able to have um, people come on Sunday, pick up their badge, walk over into this room where we've got the topic tables, we've got the wine bar, and we've got the network lane tables. And um, the network lane tables, what we're trying to do, um, have a mix of our startups, um, press, bloggers like yourself, um, the, uh, the, we're hoping that uh, Right of the Dot will be in there as well. Uh, I, I know they're, they're uh, drowning in, in, uh, in work, but yeah. I'm hoping that they'll have a table there where they can talk through the, the auction list with people and, and sign up bidders, get that paperwork out of the way. Um, and, and lots of startups, um, you know, smaller companies that can't necessarily afford a booth. Right, right. Um, you know, they want to get their foot in the door. They want to let people know that they're at the conference instead of just um, bashing through the, the hall, um, that they have a, a way of, of meeting people, but, you know, they won't necessarily be able or have the resources to man a booth right, for the for entire conference. So this is a one-day pop-up event. It's a very different target um, company than than you'll see in the fall. Um, and you know, uh, though there there, you know, having said that, there will be some crossover. We've seen that at, at other conferences that we're emulating. Um, and so we're not we're not inventing the wheel here. Um, we're taking what we see as really well done by right. a couple of other mm -hmm. conferences, merging that, putting our own flavor on it. Um, and yeah, it's it's brand new, but um, I think with those with the topic tables and the network lane tables all in the same room, um, you're really going to have a uh, a, a buzz um, that will be very unique. Oh yeah. So and that adds to yeah, the user Sunday, experience. Sunday's the day. Yeah, and um, you know we uh, we're really looking forward to it. So that's day one. Day you know, one. We got to the opening party. <laughs> day one is going to be. <laughs> Like, well, you know, when I came this past year, day one, I was thinking, whoa, I, I didn't realize so many people were going to be there. And there, I think there were sessions, weren't they? Uh, weren't there sessions on? Yeah. 
So I was yes. thinking, whoo, day one, I can't imagine what the rest of the week is going to be like. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> and it was. So uh, it's exciting that you guys have new things. And I think it's um, it speaks a lot, too, about where a conference is going when you're adding things that, uh, you know, give, like you said, the smaller companies or the startup companies the opportunity to, to put their, you know, get their foot in the door, get their sign or their, their faces out there. And then who knows, maybe next year they'll do even better and they'll be able to do exhibits, you know, for the rest of the week. You know, they get a, a taste. It's like tasting of, of what to expect and what they can prepare for next year. Um, right. I saw, I read, well, you've been keeping us updated on the uh, NamesCon uh, Facebook page <laughs> and the uh, event page, too. You're going to have quite a bit more, uh, you know, attendees this year. Almost, what is it, double <laughs> even than last year or what? Um, no, I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't quite say double, yeah. um, but we're, we will be over 1,000 attendees. Yeah. And it's very exciting, uh, you know, to go, to go from, uh, you know, from, from a back of the napkin idea three years ago to 1,000 oh. people all congregating in, in Las Vegas uh, for four full days is um, pretty fantastic. It's a little um, overwhelming at times for us. Um, but, you know, we, we've adjusted. We've uh, studied other conferences um, not just in the, uh, you know, in the internet space, but um, going out and just looking at how is everyone else um, doing it? How are they handling growth? Um, what new things can we incorporate? What can we do better? And so we're, um, you know, we're always listening um, to our attendees and our sponsors um, about how we can how we can do it. And, you know, right now I just had a discussion with an exhibitor about, you know, lead capture and what's the best way to do it and can we actually integrate it and, you know, we have um, full-time staff now. We have an office. Yes. Um, you know, I think we're one of the. I, I think we're the only uh, domain conference that I know of that has full-time year-round staff yeah. working on the conference. Yeah. Um, so you know, the day after NamesCon, we're already planning for next the year. Next NamesCon. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it never you know, stops. We, we've got our date booked um, through January 2019. Wow. Um, so. You know, I think that that shows the uh, stability um, right. of, of uh, you know, what what we're trying to bring um, to, to show that, you know, this industry needs to be able to plan and know that there will be certain events every single year. And that's so, right. uh, you know, we, we hope that that's what NamesCon um, becomes for everyone. Now, are you guys going to, I know you're, I think, booked, like you said, through to what, 2019, all of those in Las Vegas. Yes, all of those in Las Vegas, all of those in um, at the Tropicana Hotel. Okay. Um, you know, I can um, later. I'll post the uh, the information on the on the dates, um, or maybe I'll I'll post it in the uh, in the in the chat. Um, and yeah, so we we really felt that um, we wanted to pin down the dates. Um, we we love being up right next to CES. Mm -hmm. Um, because then some people go to CES and then they come to, to NamesCon. Um, but it has all kinds of logistical um, issues as well as if you're arriving on Friday or Saturday night, you'll notice that the hotel rate is, it just makes you kind of take a second look um, versus the $89 rate that we have pre-negotiated. Um, we can't um, we can't hold that for Friday and Saturday because CES is in town. Right. And, you know they have 150,000 attendees, and you know they cause um, all kinds of um, taxi lineups. All of Uber's now in Vegas. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> um, logistical uh, staffing um, issues for us, so we're moving. Uh, you know, and um, and this year we're right over top of affiliate zone, yes. mm -hmm. um, which was. Uh, it, which is a mixed blessing. Um, you know, we've got some exhibitors that are exhibiting at both shows at the same time. Right. Uh, you know, parking crew um, has traffic. You know, they, they have to go out and buy a second booth in order to have a booth at NamesCon because their first booth is right, going to be over be. at Affiliate Summit. Um, so, you know, 2017, 18, 19, we're going to be further into January yeah. towards... Uh, towards the end of January. Um, and so we, uh, 
you know, we, we think that it's, it'll be a better date. Um, it's kind of where Domain Fest used to be. Um, you know, I think it's after after Martin Luther King and before um, Super Bowl. <laughs> that's kind of the, the, the space we were looking yeah, at. Yeah, that's good. I mean, nobody wants to miss the game, right? <laughs> exactly. You know, um, as we're talking, I, I want to say something. I've been to a lot of conferences uh in my lifetime, different industry conferences too. And uh, just most recently one in October. Um, and I just have to say, I want to point this out because I don't know if you, I'm sure you get a lot of feedback afterwards, but I still need to point this out. What I loved most too was the fact that you guys were there. Uh, I've been to conferences where you have the organizers who spend the whole year getting you prepped and ready to come and excited and you see their face on Twitter and Facebook and you're excited even to meet them and then you get there, you, you sign in and you never see a single face from that organization. Right. And that can be really, um, well, that can be a little discouraging too about where the conference or that organization is going. So I really think it's great that you guys are always there. You're around, you see the staff, you know, and everyone is knowledgeable about what's going on. That just adds to, again, to the user experience because one thing we do know, if you come and you just can't get what you need out of an event, well, what's the likelihood of you showing up the next time? So I have to give you guys kudos. Absolutely. You're doing great with that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, we, um, we, we definitely, you know, I think the term is eat our own dog food, yeah. right? um, <laughs> you know, we, we go, we experience it, we go into the sessions, yes. um, you know, we have debates after, uh, you know, internal team debates on what went, went right, what went wrong, what didn't, you know, I mean, people don't see the things that go wrong generally. Um, but there are things that we're like, Hey, you know, we, we could have done better there. We, we want to improve this here. Yeah. That's, you know, we, we go down right down to the, the to the details of, uh, you know, one, one aspect is our exhibitors. We had exhibitors showing up um, last year and they said, hey, where's our electricity? And we're like, well, it's standard at every conference, you have to order your own yeah. electricity. But after the third Fire. or fourth or fifth conversation, I was like, you know what, next year, Everyone gets electricity. Yes, you'll... Electricity for everyone. I was, I'm like okra of, of the company. You get electricity. You get electricity. You. electricity, you get electricity. You. <laughs> but you know, um, you know, we don't have that on the Sunday pop-up exhibits. But on Monday to Wednesday, every exhibitor just gets electricity. Yes. It's just one last, one less thing for them to worry about. And it's one less conversation for right. us to That's right. have to 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 fight. And it, you know, it's an insane conversation to even have because the exhibitor is standing there, there's a plug in the wall right behind their booth and they, they want to just plug, plug it their up. laptop yeah. in. I'm like, the union will shut down <laughs> our conference if you do that. <laughs> it, 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 it's just not worth the argument. And you know, it's um, you know, union rules, I support unions. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. I've been in a union, you know, I know the, the work they do, but um, it's hard to have that conversation yeah. with someone when they're like, I just want to buy a plug in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they, they, they get it, you know, they're like, they, they, oh. they see their exhibitor next door, they've got a power bar, and they're <laughs> like, well, he's only plugged in his charger. Can I just plug into his? Well, you'd think you could, but. Right, no, you can't. exactly. <laughs> it seems so simple, but <laughs> it's <laughs> not. <laughs> Yeah, so we, um, you know, we, we go down to that kind of detail and, um, you know, we really want to deliver value both to the attendees and to the sponsors. Yeah. Well, you know what, uh, before we continue, I'm going to open our chat bar and I'm going to do some muting because I think I might hear a little bit of a background noise. Let's see here. Okay, so um, I want to kind of switch gears into content, and I know as soon as I start talking about content, what we might get Jothan to, to jump on in here too, maybe for that. Um, last year's content, I thought, was wonderful, and I, I can't help but feeling that since we had, we've had so much going on, uh, 
in the market lately with all of these, you know, like Chinese premiums and stuff, I can't help but feel that last year's conference was just perfect timing, you know, getting some more information about uh, Chinese domain names. You guys had a lot of master classes um, uh, uh, surrounding that last year. What can we expect as far as content uh, this year? Anything new or anything that you're really excited about that we haven't done or you haven't done uh, before? Okay. Um, well, I want. I know that Jonathan is in the chat room. Um, I don't know if Jonathan wants to turn his camera on. And he doesn't have to. He's one. free to speak without jumping on okay. cam. So, um, Jonathan, I'm going to hand it over to you. Uh, Jonathan is our living, breathing agenda machine. <laughs> so um, he knows absolutely everybody, um, and he uh, spends an enormous amount of time on the agenda sure. and content. And I'm going to let him uh, let him feel this. Thanks. Thanks, Richard. Can you all hear hey me? Hey there, Jonathan. We hear you yeah. just fine. Thanks for joining us. Excellent. Excellent. Um, hey, yeah. Well, thanks, Angela. And, I'm, you know, I'm super excited. You know, one thing that we didn't have a, on the agenda last year was you, <laughs> which is fantastic. So I'll, I'll put that out there. I think that's going to be great. I mean, you bring good energy to this industry, and um, it'll be wonderful to have you, uh, you know, involved as, uh, as part of it. And, you know, the other thing, uh, you know, yes, of course, Chinese uh, market is really big. In fact, one of the first questions in the chat was about, you know, how many Chinese Asian attendees we're going to have. You know, it's such a global internet, right? I mean, you know, Richard is, is Chinese and he's in Canada. So how do I measure that? <laughs> you know, do I go through and look at the, the attendees? Um, some of the biggest, uh, buyers of, you know, the current sort of Chinese purchase frenzy aren't necessarily all in mainland China. Um, and so, you know, I think there's a lot of ways to measure that, but, but we are definitely keen to the trajectory of the Chinese market. There's quite a few sessions on that. Um, we have uh, Simon Cousins back to do master classes for, you know, registries, registrars, and domain investors specific to, to um, you know, the, the trends in the Chinese market. And that's interesting for a variety of people wanting to engage in business there. Uh, but that's just a component of all the content. Um, last year we had Sunday was kind of, it's kind of like an on-ramp and an arrival day. I think Richard touched on this. Um, the, these uh, topic tables are getting just a tremendous uh, feedback right now. As far as, you know, you can kind of sit down on the very first day uh, where you'd be looking around for something to do or people to meet up with. And it actually puts kind of birds of a feather together for an hour to talk. And then we've pulled in different people who have specific experience and expertise in those particular topics. That's new this year. We, just off the feedback we're already getting, think that that's going to be wildly successful. Oh, that's um, throughout the week, last year we were really ambitious with our agenda and we had it at, at I think one or two given times we had five or six different things going on at once. Mm -hmm. And we decided to dial it back a little bit and be less ambitious with that so that it's more uh, beneficial to the people who are attending to be able to select from fewer things that might compete for their attention at one time. Uh, and then extending those, instead of being 45 minute sessions, uh, some are 50 and as long as 65 minutes. Um, we have a ver very big diversity of keynotes this year. Um, and we actually have brands that are coming out of the woodwork. I know this is Brand Bar, and it's it's a uh, love our uh, brands. Uh, <laughs> hey, love our brands. Um, one of the sessions, you know, I, I, the the roster of this session will be subject to some change. But right now, I've got um, Google, Fox, wow. Microsoft, um, Facebook. Uh, you know, I've got a group of panelists that are going to talk about these new TLDs and search and what's, you know, what, what they're able to do with that. We've also done more uh, with the ICA. Um, we've joined the Internet Infrastructure Coalition. Um, and so Internet Commerce Association, Domain Name Association, and the Internet Infrastructure Coalition are all three member-based organizations that we have huge overlap with as the domain industry. And so we've got them and we've given them some space to kind of talk and do some sessions as well. One of the neatest ones is um, Tony Kirsch, who is, I think he was with OS Registry. OS Registry got bought by Newstar. But um, Tony Kirsch does something called the DNA University. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be, according to him, a pretty special session. 
Um, but we've got CEO of uh, uh, PIR, which run .org, is going to come talk. We have uh, uh, Matt Berry from uh, Freelancer, the new owners of escrow.com, mm -hmm. who's apparently a really dynamic and energetic speaker. Um, you know, and the, and the content is really catered around making sure that, um, you know, people are going to come and they're going to take advantage of all the great networking uh, layout and who's there at the conference. Richard, had, had, to his credit, has done a fantastic job of really designing the space. Um, you know, I won't say feng shui, but I mean, it's, it's really designed around a flow that let, gives people those really good networking opportunities. And if somebody's going to take a break from that networking and they're going to go and they're going to spend time in a session, um, you know, I've done a lot of conferences over the last 10 years. The thing that, that I've found is if, you, if you're going to do a session, don't do a session that just panders to the sponsors. Do a session that delivers tremendous value right. to the person who's mm -hmm. breaking away from the networking and coming in and talking. And we've really created uh, a lot of sessions around ensuring that is good dialogue, and it you know it's it's there for everyone and there's such a diversity of content that people can really make the the conference into what they want we've got brands we've got legal security technical um, monetization of various forms appraisal aftermarket uh, uh, drop catching uh, you know i mean escrow you name it if it's about domain names it's on the agenda it's in the content very well covered. And I'll, wow. And I'll stop there. <laughs> that is yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to keep some secret, right? So that when we get there, we can be like, wow, it's Christmas in January here at the conference. <laughs> uh, well, there, there are some TVDs on the schedule. And I, I, I really, you know, I think we may already be over delivering on people's expectations. But uh, just because you see a session that says TBD, don't think you've got the whole session schedule in front of you because I've got some special secrets and oh, surprises ready to, to unveil over the coming months. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Well, you know, um, I want to, um, it's been my goal. I think I mentioned this to both of you uh, since I left NamesCon this past January. I wanted to see as many uh, newcomers to the industry uh, be able to get to the conference and get some of this information because like I have been saying all year, I went and I thought I knew a little bit and even the little bit I thought I knew, I didn't. So I learned so much. I walked away with so much knowledge and uh, I want to, I'm hoping that so many more people who have wanted to go and hasn't been able to go in the past can come this year. Um, I wanted to ask you guys, is there any more um, opportunities for them to save on their ticket costs? Are, are we at the point now where we're already to the full price? Are there any more specials coming out? What's happening with that? Uh, well, the, the price right now is $5.99, and it jumps up to $7.99 on December 31st, and then at the door is $9.99. Um, but what we should do is let me just make sure that we um, – Let's let's create a code right now for you. Um, so why don't we say? That's awesome, Richard. Thank we'll, you. We'll do for for Brand Bar. We'll do the Black Friday pricing. Um, so let's uh, we'll get the two hundred dollar discount off the of five ninety nine price. Wow. Um, if someone's watching this recording and the price has jumped up to seven ninety nine, then you'll get two hundred dollars off, and it will go to um, it'll go to to five ninety nine. That so is so generous. We, we'll, you know, uh, and we'll I create a code called Brand Bar uh, two hundred. Um, it'll give a two hundred dollar discount, and um, I'm literally doing it right now as we speak. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys are so generous, and I, I want to say it's not as if the price point is not already wonderful. You go to so many events, so many conferences, and the prices are so astronomical that it is, I mean, almost impossible to once you're there even enjoy yourself, but. In my opinion, the, your event is reasonably priced, and you get way more value <laughs> than you can. Then, I mean, I I would say I think I would pay a lot more considering everything that you get. But I I like that about your event too. You make it so that everyone can come. It's nobody is really priced out, and that's a great thing. Right. Um, and thanks thanks again for that. Yeah, we you know we we have had our earlier uh, pricing. Um, 
you know, and the, the pricing does go yes. up as time passes. But, um, you know, uh, we really, we, we've tossed out food, um, as in tossed out food, as in it's not on the menu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you have to get your own breakfast, you have to get your own lunch. Yes. Um, you know, but there's a Starbucks there and people can't, it's it's the craziness of, of the conference business that, you know, you sit there, you, you have half a sandwich, a bag of chips and a drink, and you think, oh, that, that's that's not bad. Probably cost the conference organizer, you know, eight, ten bucks. It's twenty nine dollars yeah. plus thirty percent. That's right. <laughs> so you know. Uh, so that would it's, indeed it's a, uh, make that cost for the the attendees a lot more if they wanted uh, to have those things included. And it's really in the grand scheme of things, to me anyway, not so important. I was so busy and so excited going from one session to the next. I don't even remember how much time I, I, I actually spent eating anything <laughs> this past conference. <laughs> I didn't want to miss anything. But uh, there are a lot of options, though, nearby. So I think everyone's going to be uh, just fine with that. Um, I noticed, too, that uh, what is there a like an extra party or two going on too this year. <laughs> wow, indeed. Uh, so, we, you know, generally it's it's a four conference and we provide an opening cocktail party and we have the water night gala. Um, so, uh, and we've got uh, some interesting things happening on, on those avenues. So I'll just run through the, uh, the evening um, entertainment. <laughs> So on Sunday night, we've got um, Right Side is doing the, uh, the opening cocktail party. And um, one of their guys, uh, Stat Staten Hammock, um, is an awesome guy. Um, and he does DJing mm -hmm. um, just kind of as, a, as his personal um, interest. Yeah. And so he's bringing his controller and some of his own music and, and uh, mixes. And we're setting it up with... Um, you know, a, an absolute top-notch uh, sound system, and you know, we're bringing in two subwoofers. You know, forget the one. We want, we want the, <laughs> go big or go home, the, right? The, the, the music. <laughs> yeah. And um, and so we will have uh, Satin, um, you know, playing a Sunday night, and it's just kind of cool to see someone's you know talents beyond the domain business yeah. right and then be able to showcase it and celebrate it so that's sunday and that's um that's 8 p.m to 11 p.m um i've heard rumors of, about people having some after hours parties i don't want people staying out too late on sunday because we're gonna fall <laughs> yeah, to do on monday <laughs> go to bed uh you know on monday monday we've got the the domain auction starting at two o'clock so you don't want to miss that um, so if you are out late Sunday night, at least get up and get to the conference for 2 o'clock. And that was a good idea, too, uh, by the way, moving the auction, uh, you know, uh, earlier on the agenda. I think yeah. that was a, a really good idea. Yeah, we, we definitely. Before everyone um, spends all of their money lesson. and stuff. <laughs> You know. um, and then Monday night, um, Monday night, it, we we kept it as an open night mm -hmm. so that people could um, know what night they could, you know, set dinners up without missing out on some official right. conference mm -hmm. uh, um, events. So Monday night is our open night, um, as is Wednesday night. And so um, Uniregistry came and said, you know, we're going to book over at the Hakkasan nightclub, which... Um, if you know anything about nightclubs, it's the number one nightclub in North America, wow. uh, number three in the world. Um, you know, they've just spent an, a mind-boggling amount of money um, doing up this. It used to be, I think, uh, um, Studio 54. Um, and then it went through a $150 million renovation, which is just like a mind-blowing amount of money uh, to spend on, on this supper club and nightclub. And but it's um, it's well worth it. We want to uh, to encourage everyone to go over there. Um, it's a, it's walking distance from the Tropicana, it's literally across the uh, the Sky Bridge. And um, and so you know you still have time for your dinner parties, and then go over to the to the Uniregistry um, um, party over there. I, you know I think the the first rounds of drinks are on them, and then you know everyone's on their own. Yeah. Um, and on Tuesday night, we have our traditional water night party where we raise funds, um, pledges, and donations for Water School. So if anyone's interested in that, it's waterschool.com. And so we, we've raised money, um, you know, 
uh, for Water School, Water Night predates NamesCon. Yeah. So Water Night's been going on since 2012. Um, NamesCon started in January 2013. And so we, um, you know, it, it's a great time. We have a private nightclub at the Tropicana. Um, so it's a very safe environment. It's, um, you know, um, the Hakazan is, is safe. It's a it's a <laughs> it's a um, private event um, that Unit Registry is putting on there. Uh, but it's you know it's just comfortable you know everyone yeah, that's in the that's room right. uh, it's it's on the premises of the tropicana so you can just walk, walk back right up to your room, room after um starts at 9 p.m goes till 2 a.m you know last year uh, actually the first two years we had them end at one o'clock but at one o'clock last year <laughs> the party was just nobody was ready to go the staff <laughs> <laughs> the hotel staff came to me and said, I don't think you can shut this thing <laughs> down until about two. So we actually kept it going until two. And this year we're officially um, having it uh, until two o'clock. Um, but it's a great time, open bar. Um, if uh, people want to do bottle service or table reservations, they just need to contact me. Um, my email is in, uh, in the sidebar, uh, Richard at Namescon. Um, it, it, we try and deliver a true Las Vegas nightclub experience. Um, and, you know, we have um, Sandy, DJ Sandy, uh, Sandeep from uh, Radix. Um, and he will be DJing because he is also a DJ. Oh, night. So it's, um, it's, it's very, very cool. That'll be on oh, Water wow. Night. Okay. And, um, yeah, and Namecheap and Domain Sponsor are the, uh, are the title sponsors for it. So it's, uh, it's just Water Night brought to you by Namecheap and Domain Sponsor. And now we, you know, can't under um, under um, appreciate their uh, their um, their support. Yeah. Uh, Namecheap has been uh, sponsoring cause. Water Nights mm -hmm. since since, uh, since, um, since I got my head shaved <laughs> um, in Santa Monica. So um, it's a it's a great um, uh, it's great to see that yeah. the continuing support from those guys. Well, Richard, I uh, was already excited. Uh, but I am even more so, and I'm sure everyone who's with us right now or who's going to be watching this later are going to be excited too. I hope you all are able to come out and uh, meet Richard in person. He's always around. You're going to see him. You see him stop and shake his hand and, uh, and tell him how great the conference is because they do such good work. Um, before we go, Richard, I want to thank you again uh, for being a supporter of Brand Bar as a sponsor. You see your awesome ba uh, banner in the back there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and I also want to mention um, uh, my other sponsor that helps keep the show going, make it possible, and that's escrow.com. For anyone of you out there who are doing any online transactions, domains, uh, cars, even houses. Uh, you can actually close your deals, your transactions using escrow.com, which is a secure um, license and bonded and uh, government audited escrow service. So go over there and check it out at uh, escrow.com. And I also, before we go, want to mention that I had, um, I have been giving away one ticket per month to NamesCon uh, this year as a way to give back for what I feel has been a very generous industry to me. And uh, this month, that ticket recipient is Eric Friedman. He emailed in um, as well as some others and uh, you know introduced himself. He's been working in the domain space for a little while and wants to take things to the next level. And he feels that networking coming out to NamesCon, meeting people and uh, learning as much as he can is going to help take him and his business to the next level. So I'm excited and uh, I can't wait to meet him and you guys who are out there and who've been in, in the chat and has been supportive uh, this whole year. Can't wait to see you. Richard, thank you so much. Jothan, if you're still here with us, thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah, thank you, Angela. Um, I think this is a great show that you put together, and it's amazing um, how, how far it's come in one year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Congrats. Um, let's see what next year has in store for us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Angela. Okay, thank you. You guys have a great afternoon.